Hey, 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 what's up champions? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about the free P's of success in network marketing. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe. And of course, if you get value from this video or you learn something, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will get some value too. Uh, hey, Victoria. Hey, Odrona and Gemmas. How are you guys doing? Hey, Christina. Uh, how's it going? How's it going, guys? Hope you guys had a fantastic day. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about the three P's of success in network marketing. So the first P is plugged in. So in order for somebody to achieve high level of success in network marketing, they have to be plugged in. You know, what on earth does that mean? Does that mean like a socket, you know, plug something into the socket, right? Well, similar to that. A team member on its own is very vulnerable. You know, it's like uh, when you watch those those uh, animal planet uh, type of programs, you know, about the herd of uh, of gazelles, you know, and, and the tiger it comes at them, right? Who dies? <laughs> the gazelle that's on its own, right? That is not in the pack, right? Well, in network marketing, similar way, the person who is not plugged in, who is not together with the team, who is not plugged into events, who is not plugged into webinars, who is not plugged into lives, who is not plugged into training videos, the, the Facebook group, the WhatsApp group, the email list, the, all of those things, it's all being plugged in to the system. So if the person is not plugged into the system, there's a huge chance that they're going to fail in network marketing. Because this is not one of those things that you can do solo. This is not one of those things that you can do your own way. You know what I mean? Well, like whenever I get a team member who goes, well, well, I appreciate your training and, and, and support, but I want to do it my way. I go, yeah, no problem. As long as you're happy not making money. <laughs> and they go, what? No, no, I'm not happy not making money. Then you better plug into the system. Because like whatever you think you're going to do, um, do you think you have it better than the company who's been around, you know, for so many years? Do you think you know better than the, all of these trainers that have been training us, etc.? You know, you better use the system. You know what I mean? So that's being plugged in. A person has to be plugged in, you know, and it, it's not just a new person. Like even if you've been in network marketing for a while, if you're not plugged into events, if you're not plugged into trainings, if you're not plugged into books, it's just a matter of time before you're going to hit the slump. It's just a matter of time before you're going to hit a bad day that's going to turn into a bad week, that's going to turn into a bad month, and so on, right? Everybody experiences that. But when you're constantly plugged in to motivation, inspiration, education, etc., there's no way to defeat you. There's no way to put you on your knees and keep you there permanently. There is no way to do that because you're undefeated, because you cannot be stopped. You're unstoppable, right? But as soon as you disconnect, the problems start, the depression start, the negative thoughts start, the challenges start, you know, and all of the problems, right? So you have to stay plugged in. That's the first P. The second P is paid. You know, for somebody to be successful in network marketing, they have to start being paid. They have to start making money as soon as possible. Now I know that there is a huge group of people in network marketing who just here for the fun of it who just here for the amazing products and for the cheerleading and for the great crowd you know and for the positivity etc i appreciate that but money doesn't hurt <laughs> if on top of all of that on top of all the positivity and motivation and awesome crowd you also add some money in the bank account it ain't gonna hurt right it's just gonna help the deal right so when a new person joins your business or the person being it for a while in your business, if you want to make them successful, you want to start getting them paid. Now, I don't mean you need to start paying them. No, you need to work with them so they earn the money, right? Because that's why most people join the business, right? A lot of people join the business because they need that extra income. They need to make some money. So help the person to start making some money. Now, it doesn't have to be thousands and thousands, right? Even though it can't hurt if it will be, right? But at least some money, at least a couple of hundred, at least some so they can have it in their hands. They go, hey, this thing is working, right? I made a hundred quid. 
I made 150 quid. Hey, this thing is working, right? That's what you want. So that's the second P. And then the last one, the third P is promoted. Now that's two sides. One side is promoted as in go up the levels, right? So, so the per again, you want to help your team members to move and progress to go to the next levels because every time that the team member goes up to the higher level, it builds their confidence. It makes them more solid in the business. It makes them happy, etc. but also promoted in terms of you promoting that person. You know, one thing I've noticed what the biggest leaders in this industry do, and some of them are probably not even aware of it, they just do it automatically, is they are incredible promoters of people. They don't just push themselves up. They don't just go, hey, look at me, look at how amazing I am, look at how great I am. No, they always promote their team members. Hey, have you seen Tony? Have you seen how amazing his presentation is? Hey, have you seen Lucy? Have you seen how amazing she sells the products and how she does the demonstration? Hey, and have you seen this? So they keep promoting their team members. They keep pushing their team members in front of other people, in front of the crowd, in front of the stage to show to other people. Go, hey, have a look at this guy, right? Like they could go on the stage by themselves. They could do all the trainings. They could do all the presentation by themselves, but that's not the key. You see, it took me ages to wrap my brain around this because when I first started, I became quite good at doing the presentations and the trainings. And I was like, well, we have this training coming up and I could let my team members speak, but I will do it better. <laughs> so yeah, sit on the bench. I'll, I'll take care of this one, right? You relax, right? And then, oh, we've got a presentation on Wednesday. Uh, I could ask this team member to do the presentation, but I'll do it better. Yeah, you, 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 you calm down, you wait a bit, right? I'll do the presentation. And without realizing it, without knowing it, I was turning people off in my business because I didn't give them the chance to stand in front of the people, to stand on a stage, to present something. And yet their presentation might not be as strong as yours. Yes, their training might not be as valuable as yours, but one, people get fed up of listening to you all the time anyway. Two, you putting, you're promoting that person. That person goes first time, maybe does a rubbish training. Second time, maybe not so great. But third, fourth, fifth time, if you keep promoting that person, they'll get better. And one day, You'll be sitting at the training event and you don't even have to speak because your team members are running the whole thing. Your team members are doing all the talking and you can just enjoy and be happy how amazing your organization is and how amazing it grows and how much money you're making. You know what I mean? It's working smart not just working hard. So these are the three P's of success in network marketing. I hope you got value from this. If you did, feel free to share this video. And if you will share this video, please drop share it in the comments because I'd love to uh, thank you personally for doing that. And also, if you'd like to get more awesome training for network marketing specifically, um, go head over to www.titaniumsuccess.co.uk forward slash success training. I'll drop the link into the comments. You can check it out there. Guys, thanks very much for jumping on. I appreciate your help and support. I appreciate all the hearts and all the comments. You guys have a great rest of your day. See you at the top. Bye for now.